What's up guys, Grim here. To start off with, congratulations to the Grim Gaming channel for having 6,000 subscribers. Past it now, I actually missed the milestone and I didn't get to make a video about the announcement of it, but yeah, we're over 6,000 subscribers now. Thank you to everybody that has stuck around through the good times and the bad times, as in no videos for a week or two at times. And those of you that have stuck around through all that, I really, really appreciate it. And thank you to everybody that has been making donations to the channel and supporting it in any way, whether you're posting my videos on forums or just sharing them around to your guildmates. You guys are the reason why we're doing so well. Today's video is going to be about what is the best gear in PvP right now. Some believe it's the T1 Frostkeeper gear, others believe it's the frenetic uh, PvP gear so to say, and other people believe it's the Drown Prophet down bolstered items. Now how down bolstering is supposed to work is it's supposed to take gear that is way above what PvPers can get and actually down bolster it to where it's level with what PvPers can get. But it does not seem to be working quite like that. To start out with, just until recently, the T1 gear, which was the Frostkeeper gear, was the best gear for PvPers. And then the update came out, and then all of a sudden we have Frenetic gear, which is actually the 150 hit rating gear, and it raised the bar on what PvPers could get. At that point, it actually passed up the Frostkeeper gear in what is better. So the Frenetic gear is actually better than the T1 Frostkeeper gear right now. So the question is, is T2 Drown Profit items actually better than the Frenetic gear whenever it comes to PvP because the Drown Profit stuff obviously gets down bolstered. And like I said earlier in the video, it's supposed to be down bolstered down to what PvPers can get legitly without having a raid or anything like that. Well lucky for us a forum user named Fulio actually did the testing and he has an answer for that question. It seems that throughout his research that down bolstered T2 items actually get down bolstered at a higher level than what the frenetic gear actually is. So that makes it to where frenetic gear is actually less efficient than the down bolstered T2 Drown Profit items. Now there are still a lot of bugs in the game in that things are not working quite like they would like them to whenever it comes from the development point of view. One of the most glaring bugs that everybody has noticed is that the T2 weapons are actually not getting down bolstered in PvP. So if you got this outrageously good weapon, you can bring it into PvP and it will not be downscaled at all. So that makes it to where raiders are actually better geared in PvP than we could ever have dreamed of right now. It's almost a flashback of whenever 3.0 hit and raiders were actually gearing out very, very fast compared to PvPers because they had so many more quests. CQ was disabled without any of the quests for us PvPers to do for weeklies and all of that and they were just so much stronger than any PvPer in the game if it was somebody that purely PvE'd versus a PvPer and then stepped into the other region. So that makes it to where the current state of things is that PvE weapons are not getting down bolstered so they are the best items in the game whenever it comes to PvP and also the Drown Profit gear and other T2 gear being down bolstered is better than any frenetic gear that we can get through PvP. On the positive side, it looks like the frenetic gear is actually not that much worse than the down bolstered T2 items in PvP. It's actually something like a 2% or 3% gap in efficiency, so it's really not that bad of a deal whenever it comes to gearing out with frenetic gear versus trying to get the down bolstered drown profit items. So for gearing out your character in PVP, go ahead and get the frenetic gear, get all of your uh, Marauder cash items and go ahead and upgrade them up to frenetic and then get the drown profit items as you can. You're still gonna be at a huge disadvantage to anybody that has a T2 raid weapon but hopefully that bug will be fixed real soon. There are other bugs that have been in the system that may or may not be fixed at this point, 
such as whenever you had a down bolstered item if you put ruins on it a lot of times the ruins did not even calculate into the pvp equation of down bolstering as in if it down bolstered your item you lost the rune altogether whenever it came to adding the stats while you were in that pvp match how it's originally designed is that the rune is supposed to apply to your down bolstered item even if it gets down bolstered or not so overall things are supposed to be really balanced as in the down bolstering is supposed to go down to frenetic level and also raid weapons are supposed to be down bolstered as well it's just a lot of bugs in the game and they are trying to work them out and hopefully they will real soon until that happens we basically have to weather the storm and watch as PVEers have a bit of an advantage in pvp over pure pvpers so i hope that answers your questions guys basically the t1 frostkeeper gear is weaker than frenetic gear that you get from the marauder cache and the frenetic gear is a little bit weaker than the drown profit gear being down bolstered and as for weapons it is pretty straightforward in that it's not getting down bolstered so there's no question on which is stronger than the other just look at the dps look at the proc and most likely the t2 weapon is going to be the strongest in the game as usual guys my name is grim and i'll see you next time